so I am in the army and I was married. I was approaching my first deployment to Iraq. It was very stressful, and it had my wife wanting me to find a way to stay and not deploy. Obvious things any wife would try to talk about. Anyways, so we have no kids, but both want them. So we talk about getting out of debt while I'm gone. She talks to her best friend back home in another state where we are both from. Her friend agrees to let her move in and charge a modest 300 in rent so that we can get out of debt and start a family when I come back. A plan I was actually very pleased with. I deploy. She is there crying her eyes out, saying she will miss me and loves me, and we will start a family when we get back. Fast forward two months. She starts acting distant, not wanting to talk much on our scheduled calls or text back one or two word answers. We've been together six years. She is never at a loss for words. Anyway, one day she says I need some space. She asks someone who is 10,000 miles away for space. I say why she says she just needs space. She wants to find herself. So I remember back when we lived at home, she had a guy who was always being borderline inappropriate. I'm not a very jealous person and I trust her. So I start seeing said guy on and basically all her pictures she posts with a group. Every time he is in the picture, everyone else changes but never him. So for the first time, I'm very jealous and uneasy about everything. So I clone her phone so I receive every text she receives as well as every text she sends. I'll never forget the first text I saw after cloning her phone. Hey, babe, I'll see you after work. Want me to save you any of my leftovers? From her to him. It destroyed me. I lost 35 pounds in a week. I didn't eat or sleep. I stared at the phone watching every conversation watching them talk about trying to have a baby. It was literally everything a married person fears. I ask her if she is seeing someone, and she says, no, she isn't. She is taking care of herself, and she loves me, blah, blah. I don't say anything about receiving her texts for two months. Over this time, she finally admits cheating and that he is so much better than me at sex, treating her right, and he does what she wants. During this time, she pays our debt off, gets tattoos with him, matching I love you tattoos, goes to shows with him, Buying clothes ECT, with the money I'm making. So this is where revenge starts. I put a freeze on the account for a month and that time I change every password to every account to things she won't guess. Army jargon slang terms. I block her on FB and my phone so she has no way to contact me. She lost her car to repo a few months later, got kicked out of her place, had to sell her prized shoes and purses just to stay alive. I then find out she got a job at her old restaurant so I post all the text conversations I have with her and the guy talking about having babies that have time stamps on it, as well as post conversations we had with the matching time stamps showing all of our friends what she has done. I then have friends call and complain at her job constantly on both he and her. They work at a restaurant, so I also have friends dine and dash. They both get fired, so she tries to call my command and tell them that I am abandoning her and she can't provide for herself. My commander knows what is going on. He does nothing because he had something similar happen. Then about a month before I come back, she calls me from another number to tell me she is pregnant with his kid. Mind you, I'm still gone, so we cannot get divorced yet. She moved away with him, ten hours from me. April 24th, 2018. She calls me five months pregnant, crying uncontrollably, asking me where she should go. Apparently they have a giant blow-up fight, she tells him she is leaving. She says she doesn't know where to go, and I simply say, sorry, not my problem anymore. Fast forward, January of this year. She calls me from a mutual friend's phone. Her. He hit me. IDK what to do. Me. Maybe you don't cheat on your husband when he is deployed for some guy who talks a big game. Her. Well, I guess you are happy about this. Me. No, but I'm glad I know I'm not the bad guy in this story. And then the next month, her. He is cheating on me with two girls. I'm sorry. I regret everything I did. I fucked it all up. Me. I lost everything. All in all, this woman destroyed my life. Put me into a deep depression I'm still dealing with. But I do feel a little better having proof that I wasn't the problem. To think if this happened even ten or five years ago, I would have come back to an empty bank account, an empty house, as well as seeing my then-wife pregnant with another man's baby. She actually hit me up yesterday to ask for some money to help cover rent. Edit. Answer a few questions I realized I left out that we got divorced before the kid was born so I have no financial responsibility to her haven't now for almost a year. I mainly used T-Mobile's digit service to clone the phone. Google it. I don't feel like typing it.
Also, no, I wasn't celebrating that she was physically abused. I did tell her to call the cops, but that's all I did. It's not right to abuse someone, but I also have no responsibility to watch out for her well-being. 